Hello students, welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. My name is Mr. Stanley Ombogo. So dear students, uh, once again, welcome back to another session. And uh, in this session, under oral poetry or songs, we are probably uh, going to uh, have a look at the last sub genre, that is when it comes to classification of oral poetry. So uh, previously in other episodes, uh, we had an opportunity to uh, also uh, look at you know the other uh, subcategories of uh, oral poetry so if you missed details about uh, those other uh, oral poetry or oral songs kindly uh, ensure that you watch the previous episodes uh, to, to get informed so in this uh, session uh, just like i've said we are going to look at uh, the last subgenre, and that is initiation songs. So by the end of this session, uh, dear student, uh, you should be able to uh, define uh, or uh, you know describe this type of uh, oral poetry. Then uh, you are also supposed to uh, be able to give at least three features of uh, this uh, type of oral poetry. And lastly, uh, you are supposed to know at least uh, three functions of initiation songs. So uh, to begin with, uh, initiation songs are songs performed during the period of transition from childhood to adulthood. The performance of uh, this type of poetry can last a few weeks with the climax on the day of a physical operation. So another thing is that uh, these songs are sometimes narrowly perceived circumcision uh, songs because they are sung uh, when uh, youngsters are being initiated into adults. So uh, the main function of uh, this uh, type of oral poetry is uh, to initiate, uh, that is to educate the initiate on such things as tribal history, immorality, and even expectations in adulthood and so on. Sometimes uh, they can be used to encourage the initiates uh, again to praise uh, the fearless uh, uh, the fearless ones and to ridicule uh, the initiates who are cowardice. Uh, the next uh, important uh, detail that I want us to look at uh, in this session are the features of initiation uh, songs. So just like uh, the rest of uh, uh, the subgenres that we have been able to uh, you know uh, delve into, initiation songs uh, also have uh, features and functions. So uh, to talk about the features, the first one is that these songs are very uh, emotional. So what normally makes them uh, emotional is the fact that uh, they um, they are sung during the period of uh, transition from uh, one stage to another. So uh, the fact that you are leaving uh, a, a given stage and you'll never you know uh, go back there uh, that makes uh, the entire process very emotional. Another thing is that usually uh, the songs are heavily obscene. That is, uh, they have suggestive dances with the sexual connotation and uh, uh, vulgarities. So also remember that these songs are uh, uh, performed depending on the age set or uh, the age group. The other feature is that uh, these songs make reference to local customs and uh, circumstances and that is why uh, most of them are derived from the immediate environment so the other uh, feature is that these are songs are spontaneous that is they are created on the ground to reflect uh, the situation that is uh, most of them uh, reflect what is uh, going on at that particular time then uh, apart from that they are highly rhythmic and accompanied by vigorous uh, dancing. And the last feature that we have is that these songs have elaborate uh, accompaniments like shakers, horns, and uh, drums. So they involve a uh, use of uh, instruments. So there is a uh, instrumentation uh, accompaniments in these songs. So the next uh, area that I'd like us to uh, look at uh, is the functions of initiation uh, songs. So uh, remember, we said that uh, under oral poetry, 
each uh, type or each category uh, has uh, its specific purpose and function in the society. So some of the functions of initiation as some CS students is that number one, they are used to mobilize and encourage the initiates. So uh, apart from uh, using these songs to mobilize and encourage the initiates, uh, they are also used to satirize uh, those who are cowardly or those who circumcise in uh, hospitals. But that is not uh, a debate uh, nowadays because uh, circumcision is circumcision. So uh, the other function is that they express pride in moving from uh, childhood to adulthood. So they express uh, pride from moving from uh, one stage to another. The next function is that uh, these songs are used to highlight the future roles to be played by the initiates. And uh, they also prepare the initiates for the painful physical operation. Then uh, the other functions that we also have is that uh, the songs caution against betrayal of the edge set and uh, they laud the members of the edge set for their bravery during uh, these uh, painful physical operation. And uh, the other function that we have is that these songs express gratitude to the ancestors for handing uh, down this tradition to them. So remember, this uh, tradition is uh, passed from generation uh, to generation. So in uh, the uh, uh, songs that they compose, they normally uh, show gratitude to the ancestors for you know, uh, coming up with the tradition and handing uh, the tradition uh, down to them. So uh, with me here is an example of uh, uh, a Kipsigis initiation uh, song. So I'm going to uh, sing it uh, real quick. Then uh, after that, we will attempt the questions that follow. So uh, the song goes, we tell you we are going. We men don't mock as women. We tell you circumcision is painful, but you can't die. We tell you step on the grass while it falls down. So we tell you children that go for circumcision like Europeans who go their wedding calmly uh, prepared. We tell you stay firm like a stone. We shall be happy after your circumcision. Even those who are passing, even brothers, we tell you thanks until we meet. See you father, see you mother and relatives till we meet. So uh, the last uh, uh, lines, that is, uh, see you father, see you mother and relatives, are suggesting that the singer is, uh, you know, uh, moving from uh, childhood to adulthood and probably uh, they uh, won't, uh, you know, go back to uh, the, the father's home again. So it is t time that uh, they are now supposed to take care of uh, themselves. So I'm just uh, elaborating that because uh, some of you might confuse that for a funeral song or digest. So here are some of the questions that we have. The first question, uh, briefly explain two functions of this song. The second question, explain two instances where the singer uses uh, females. Then uh, the last question, how has the singer achieved rhythm uh, in the song? So uh, before uh, I give uh, or explain the functions of the song, uh, number one, this is an initiation song because the singer has used uh, you know words uh, like circumcision uh, to show that uh, they are being prepared for uh, that is um, a painful a painful physical operation so uh, on to the functions of the song the first function of this song is that in, it encourages the initiates to face uh, the operation bravely and this can be illustrated using the lines we tell you circumcision is painful but you can't die so another function of uh, the uh, song above is that uh, it is used to emotionally prepare the initiates for the painful physical operation again this can be illustrated by uh, uh, using uh, lines uh, the following lines that is go for circumcision like uh, europeans who go to their wedding calmly uh, prepared so uh, question number two, explain two instances where the singer uses a uh, simile. 
So similarly, these are a comparison of uh, two things using the words like or as, blah, 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 as. So uh, the first instance where the singer uses a uh, simile is when uh, he says that to go for circumcision like Europeans who go to their wedding calmly prepared. So the use of like there uh, means that the initiates are required to be composed during the physical operation, just like the Europeans. Then uh, the uh, second instance where the singer uses a simile is when uh, he says that stay firm like a stone. So this implies that uh, the initiates uh, should not wince or fear during the operation. So they are supposed to show uh, bravery. Then the last uh, question, how has the singer achieved rhythm in uh, the song? So uh, dear students, rhythm has been achieved in the uh, song above, uh, that is uh, through use uh, or by uh, using a repetition. So uh, the, rep the, 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 the uh, line that is repeated uh, in the uh, song above is, uh, we tell you. So by repeating uh, that line, it uh, creates rhythm. So dear students, uh, that brings us to the end of the session. I want to believe it was uh, super helpful and uh, super interactive. Always uh, remember to keep it easy, Limo. Until next time, bye.